Sagittarius, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon Tarot. I do a daily pick a card and a card of the day. If this resonates with you, Sagittarius, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that it resonated. You can tell me if it didn't, but understand, this is a collective reading. I'm reading for many, many Sagittarians in the world. It is not a personal read, so it may not resonate for you. I'm reading for your sun sign of Sagittarius. You can check your moon or rising. This can also be cross-watcher energy. If none of that makes any sense to you, it is not your reading. And that's okay. This is a collective read. doesn't have to resonate for you. You're not the only Sagittarian that I'm reading for. There is no gender in tarot. This is something that could have happened to you already. It could be happening to you now. It could happen to you in the future. Boundaries. No. Drawing the line and enough. Off on a journey, Sagittarius. Off on a journey. Inspired to take a journey. Which is lovely. With passion for it. Taking risks, which is very nice. needed healing. You needed some major healing from someone that was from an air sign that was extremely manipulative. They could have um, they could have kept their options open and not told you. There's, there's no problem in people having options. Of course, you can have options. People can date, not just one person. You, you meet a person and you just date them. That's, that's ridiculous to expect that. But if you're going to have options, then you need to let the options know. So everybody can say, mm, that's not for me, I'm opting out. Or yeah, whatever, you, you date people, I'm going to date people. And adults make those decisions. For one person to make the choice of, I'm going to keep my options open and all of the options not knowing about that. Yeah, that is, um, I'll tell you what that is. That's taking people's lives and putting them in jeopardy because yeah, some people could have compromised immune systems and uh, you're out there being a doorknob with everybody getting a turn. It's not really fair. So if everybody knows that we're all banging everybody, then it's okay. But if nobody knows except the one out there doing it, that's not okay. And it looks to me that you didn't know. I don't know about the other ones, but you didn't. Put you in a little bit of a state of confusion until you figured it out. You did figure it out. You did, you did heal from this. You did heal from this. And I'm going to say that this was an Aquarius. You are living your best life.
you got out of there real fast. Once you figured out what they were doing, you booked it. You got the chariot. You are extremely defensive towards this person. You don't trust this person, and I don't blame you. They were very moody. Their love is not unconditional. I think you overgave, honestly. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with you, you overgave. I don't know why. A lot of people think that that that's wrong. So and I guess it is. When it's one-sided, it is. I don't think that loving someone is wrong. But when you're the only one doing the loving, then yeah. That makes you be a fool. So, But you were willing to take that risk because you liked this person. And what it ended up doing is it put you into a very defensive mindset. And you were like, come at me, come at me. But I think that's how you were with everybody. You were very defensive towards everybody. You weren't letting anything or anybody get near you to heal you. Not friends, nothing. You had to go to ground and heal yourself. But when you came out, you came out like a superstar. And then you healed the right way. Because you came out looking your best. You came out, your money is straight, your clothes are straight. You are living, you are living your best life. And this one is naked. This one's naked, so we can't, we can't show her. But you are completely healed. You are completely healed now. You are still defensive towards this person. You will not build anything with them. Should they want to come back around, you, you, there's, there is no foundation. They are not your 1111. They are not your soulmate you you have nothing nothing for them arguments tension competition that you didn't know you were in is what you got from them and it was very confusing to you because you didn't understand it you're you're liking this person why would someone that you're, supp you're supposed to like each other why are you treating me this way well because we have someone that wanted to keep their options open let me pick a fight so I can go see this person if they would have said I'm dating multiples or I, I'm not ready to just sit, settle down with one then you could have made an informed decision and said you know what then that's okay or then I don't want to date you at all but they didn't want to do that. They wanted to have their cake and the entire bakery. The business is not finished. This has not, this is not finished. This is something that needs to be addressed. You are healed. What I'm seeing is you are healed. So same demon, different body. If that comes back, I don't think that that's going to happen. I think if the, I think if the universe tests you with that same demon, different body, you'll pass that test. So I think that the business is not finished with this particular person. We have a hanged man. This is someone that looks at the issue from all sides, has a perspective of it not just tunnel vision, can look at it from both sides, can look at it from everybody's side, can take input from everyone, mull it around, decide. That makes good sense. Yeah, maybe I was thinking about it the wrong way. Oh, that makes good sense. That's a good point. Is very um, open-minded. I'm not, no, I don't know if this is you or if this is them. I don't know that you're changing your mind on this person. I don't believe so. We have boundaries. We have no. We're drawing the line and we have enough. I think you've had enough of this particular game. Somebody wants to come in and make you an offer. This is a big offer. A big offer. This is unconditional love offer. But there are still secrets.
and Ten of Swords in your back. I don't think I need to give you advice. I think you know what you're going to do. I don't know why they want to come back to make you an offer and then to... I, I, I don't see you stabbing somebody in the back with Ten of Swords. I don't see it. Maybe that's going to be you. They'll come and make you an offer and you're going to say, okay, and then you're going to turn around and stab them in the back. I don't think so. That's very, that's low vibing. That's very low vibing. And then you just tell them to go to hell. But why they would come back to stab you in the back, I don't know. I don't have to give you advice, Sag. You're, I don't think you're going to dance this dance with them. They are coming back. They are definitely coming back. This just could be Mercury retrograde. This could be Mercury retrograde shit. They're coming back. You know how exes always come back and um, do that, do that stupid mess. And, and it's fleeting. They come back and they leave. That's Mercury retrograde. It comes in and it leaves. So this is nothing to worry about. I don't need to give you any advice. You know what you're going to do. It's going to be a hard pass for you. And no is a complete sentence. You're going to pass this. You are, you are healed. It's not going to be the same demon in a different body. You already know what to do with this. You have you know what your worth is. And um, maybe, maybe you can remain friends. You can always do that. Or, you know, something. Maybe not. Maybe not with this one. But this is your reading, Sagittarius. You can go to my, give me a thumbs up if it resonates. You can go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon Tarot, for a daily pick a card and a card of the day.